Common Joint Problems in Labrador Retrievers and How to Manage Them Labrador Retrievers are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, known for their friendly nature and playful demeanor. However, like any other breed, Labradors are prone to certain health issues, including joint problems. Joint problems can have a significant impact on a dog's quality of life, causing pain, discomfort, and mobility issues. In this article, we will explore the common joint problems that Labrador Retrievers may experience and how they can be treated and managed. One of the most common joint problems in Labrador Retrievers is hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a genetic condition in which the hip joint does not develop properly, causing instability and pain. This condition can range from mild to severe and can affect one or both hips. Symptoms of hip dysplasia may include limping, difficulty getting up and down, reluctance to exercise, and decreased range of motion in the hip joints. While hip dysplasia cannot be cured, there are several treatment options available. These include pain medication, weight management, physical therapy, and in some cases, surgery. Another joint problem that Labradors may experience is elbow dysplasia. Elbow dysplasia is a condition that affects the elbow joint, causing pain, lameness, and restricted movement. It is a complex condition that can involve several different abnormalities, including fragmented coronoid process, osteochondritis desiccans, and ununited anconeal process. Like hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia cannot be cured, but it can be managed. Treatment options may include pain medication, weight management, physical therapy, and in some cases, surgery. Osteoarthritis is another joint problem that Labradors are prone to. Osteoarthritis, also known as degenerative joint disease, is a condition in which the cartilage in the joints wears away, causing pain, inflammation, and stiffness. It is a progressive condition that typically worsens over time. Symptoms of osteoarthritis may include limping, stiffness, difficulty getting up and down, and decreased activity levels. While there is no cure for osteoarthritis, there are several treatment options available to manage the condition. These include pain medication, weight management, physical therapy, joint supplements, and alternative therapies such as acupuncture or hydrotherapy. Cruciate ligament tears are also relatively common in Labrador Retrievers. The cruciate ligament is a strong band of tissue that connects the femur to the tibia in the knee joint. When the ligament becomes torn or ruptured, it can cause severe pain and lameness. Cruciate ligament tears can occur suddenly due to trauma or a sudden change in direction, or they can develop over time due to chronic degeneration. Treatment options for cruciate ligament tears may include surgical repair, physical therapy, and pain management. Prevention is always better than cure, and there are several steps that Labrador owners can take to reduce the risk of their dogs developing joint problems. One of the most important factors is maintaining a healthy weight. Excess weight puts added stress on the joints, increasing the risk of conditions such as hip dysplasia and osteoarthritis. Regular exercise is also crucial for keeping joints strong and flexible. However, it is important to strike the right balance, as excessive activity can also increase the risk of injury. Providing a comfortable and supportive bed for your Labrador to sleep on can also help to reduce the strain on their joints. In conclusion, Labrador Retrievers are prone to various joint problems that can impact their quality of life. It is important for owners to be aware of the signs and symptoms of these conditions and seek veterinary care if they suspect their dog may be affected. With proper management, many joint problems in Labradors can be controlled, allowing them to live happy and healthy lives. Remember to provide a balanced diet, regular exercise, and a comfortable living environment for your Labrador to ensure their joints stay healthy for years to come.